Hi, my name is Jason. In this video, I'd like to show you three quick and easy ways to take screenshots in Windows. The first one is quite simple. First, you get the image that you'd like to capture on the screen, and then you simply push the print screen key on your keyboard. On most keyboards, it's on the top row, but sometimes it can be in various locations. Now that I push print the print screen key, the data is what they call in the buffer, but it hasn't really gone anywhere yet. So it's ready to be pasted into an email message, a Word document, or a paint program, or whatever accepts image data from other areas. So for this example, I'll use Microsoft Word, and I'll push the Control V, which is the command that pastes whatever's in the buffer, and there it is. So it's that easy. Being in Word, you can resize it, you can move it, you can write above and below it, anything you'd like to do. Now, sometimes having the full screen, including the background, the icons, and the taskbar is not desirable. So there's a simple answer for that. All you have to do instead of print screen is you make sure that you're in the window you'd like to capture and you hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then push print screen and release it. That's what I call an Alt print screen. So now if I go back to Word, you'll see that when I Control V to paste, it's only that one window without all of the background and taskbar and everything. And another trick you can do is using a, a paint program, um, such as MS Paint that comes with Windows, you can open that up and then again, since I already have it in the buffer, I'll Control V paste in there. And say you wanna focus just on that Google logo, you can scoot this over, uh, use the selection tool, draw a box around it, hit crop, and now only that's selected. And then you can click save and choose a uh, location, a file name and click the save button unless you'd like to change the type of image that it is. So that's quite easy but not as easy as this next trick. So the next way to do this is on your keyboard you push and hold the Windows key which is the little flag key usually in the bottom left corner. So hold that down. Also hold the shift key down and push the letter S and then let go. And then you'll notice that the screen kind of goes gray and you have a crosshair instead of a cursor. So what this does, it wants you to basically uh, click and hold in one corner of what you want to capture and then drag down, highlight exactly what you want, and then let go of the mouse button. So that's much easier than the previous example. So my Google logo is ready to be pasted so I can go back into a Word document and paste. Um, or I could even go into Paint paste and say I just like that letter G, then I could literally just select right here and then, oops, do that and then hit the crop button. So as you can see, it's real powerful, real easy. Uh, some websites don't let you save pictures. When you right click them, it says this website disallows um, saving images, uh, but you can't get, you can get around that just by clicking the print screen or the alt print screen. And then if you need to crop it down, you can put it into a paint program and, and uh, simply do what I just showed you about cropping the image. So hopefully this will help you in future projects and will be a useful tool. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll try to keep creating more technical videos in the near future. Thank you so much and I appreciate all of you. Take care.